Y'all, can we talk about Netflix is the ultimatum South Africa? Because I have so many thoughts, but I'm going to try and do them in under a couple of minutes. First of all, this is what they talk about when they say industry plans. These two were never going to move on or leave each other. They were just bringing them in probably for optics for this show. Aiden showed who his true character was during the show. He's a good guy. They were always going to get married. They were just just here for funsies. Together for six months. I almost forgot about this because by the time you watch eight episodes, you forget the original story together for eight months and he wanted to get married so quickly first of all if she giggled one more time if SZA giggled one more time but that showdown between SZA and Kanye oh I know I'm not supposed to like Kanye and I'm gonna mispronounce his name so I'm just gonna call him K first of all she was perfect. She was a perfect villain for the season. But in real life, oh, she was the worst. That when he dropped off SZA to fight his battle, and he and um Kanya and, and SZA went back and forth. Well, matter of fact, no. <laughs> there was no back and forth. All we had from SZA was <laughs> oh, 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 no. And this one, she's like, leave. Oh my God. The, she is perfect reality television. But why? I, don't, I am not a wig expert. But I know you're not supposed to see the lace front line here. <laughs> Sidebar, if you don't want any spoilers, you should not be watching this. Did anyone else think that Tabby and SZA kind of favored each other? So when she ended up with SZA's um, boyfriend... I was sort of like, well, I can see why he might see a future with her. She kind of favors favors the girl. If anything, I have to say she's a little bit more serious than than um, SZA. First of all, when SZA came over to bring back the gift that she left, <laughs> oh, I was like, SZA, for me, that that constant laughing, the the always emotional was a, a little annoying to me. She was annoying to me and in a way that was like, she's just not ready for a serious relationship. Nola and Lebo. First of all, again, spoiler alert, these two leave the experiment very early. And that's because Nola, first of all, before we even get to what Nola did, all right? Lebo, I feel like you went on this show, yes, to give him the ultimatum. However, the whole part of the ultimatum is that when you guys break up, you break up. I felt like she was getting too much into what was going on with Nola and his trial marriage. And if you're in for this experiment, you're supposed to allow that. But she kept on interfering. Like, literally, her and Aiden were peeping outside the villas, you know, seeing what he was doing. But I think part of what that was was that she knew all along that she couldn't trust this man. This man ends up sleeping with Ruth, his trial marriage per person. And he didn't want to tell Lebo, but Ruth was like, I have to tell you this. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor Ruth. It's like she, she went home after telling Lebo and then she was going to tell him that he told Lebo, but Lebo already showed up at the house, <laughs> at the villa and was raising all hell. Only for Nola to be so mad at Ruth for telling Lebo. He said, oh, well, I'm going to tell Isaac. That's that's Ruth's partner who she's been with for two years and never met his family. Yet in this experiment, Isaac, who ended up with Kanya, ends up meeting <laughs> his family. And she just known him for a couple of weeks. I was so happy, again, spoiler alert, that they ended up not together, but I hated the fact that he was the one to do it first. I think she deserved to let him let him go, but at the same time, I think she was ridiculous to be with this man for two years and never have met his family. You didn't want you. He's like, oh, I am. Too, you you are too good for me. No, he just wanted to move on. I think the minute she switched the tables on him and slept with this other man, he never wanted to be with her again. Bringing out some ring like he really was gonna propose. Back to Kanye. Again, if, I, if I'm if i mispronouncing names, it, please understand it is not my intention. It's hard to keep up, first of all, with the names and then the correct pronunciations. But Kanye, 
I think is how you pronounce it. And K, we're just going to call him K because I already knew while watching the episode, I was, I'm going to mess up his name. First of all, I couldn't stand Kanye the entire season until the end. I felt for her. She was just like, you're going to give me a promise ring? This is the ultimatum. It's marriage or nothing. So I ended up looking at him with the side eye that you knew. He literally said that he knows that he doesn't see a future with her. So he felt like a promise ring was the best way. So you clearly knew that you don't want to be with her, but you're giving her a promise, promise ring, stringing her along. Stringing her along. Do you see her lace front? She can't be strung along any further. The ultimatum South Africa was tens across the board. I know some of you might feel like it starts off slow, but wait till you get to episode four, five, and six, because that's when it picks up. That's when it picks up. The arguing, the fighting, it almost gets physical between Isaac and Nola because of the whole, you slept with my girlfriend. Mind you, this is the process. You're supposed to break up. Things can happen. I mean, you're not supposed to sleep with people. Well, I guess it depends. Adults. Um, but Ruth says she had no regrets. She's like, I'm going to get mine. And I think she enjoyed it. But I don't think she was going to take Nola really seriously because Nola wasn't taking her seriously. He was telling the other guys, he was trying to play like, oh, yeah, we never slept together, blah, blah, blah. And then he was telling them, yeah, I don't see a future with, with, with Ruth. But Ruth was like, I don't really see. A she didn't say this. But I think for Ruth, it was sort of like, I wanted to sleep with him. So I did. Good for you, Ruth. And Lebo, I hope you understand that the way that he slept with Ruth, I'm pretty 100% sure Nola has cheated on you before. I hope you guys are no longer together. Have you watched Netflix's new show, The Ultimatum South Africa? If so, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. Ooh, you bring the lighter.